Program coming to you live from the Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Bill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Fuck yeah. Hi everybody. Holy shit, there's a lot of people here. Fuck yeah. Good to be here everyone. Brian's got a sandwich, some coconut water. Um, it's my first sandwich. Sorry there. about the late start everyone. Um, but I guess for those of you listening, it's not a late start at all. How are you guys doing out there tonight? Yeah. Woo! Fuck yeah. Oh, he's here. Of course. Uh, it's good to be here. We have a fun show ahead of us. we got some gifts before this one. Yeah, let's, let's talk about these gifts real quick. we got uh, a, a buddy of ours, a uh, friend of Tom Segura's that uh, uh, grew up, if you know Tom Segura, the comedian went, uh, he went to high school with. I don't want to, uh, Do you want to give your name out? or do you? Yeah. Lee Davis. Lee Davis, and so you knew Tom Scurry when he was just shitting himself as a smaller kid. Uh, if you don't know Tom Scurry, he does a podcast called Your Mom's House, very funny comedian. Hilarious. But he got me a copy of The Last of Us from uh, Naughty Dog, which is uh, an awesome game that I've been actually thinking about buying for a long time, just getting the, back in the games recently. And then uh, you got a shirt, and I got an e sick And I got an e sick too. too. Can't wait to start smoking again. Fuck yeah. You've been Bobby! sick all weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. Bobby Lee, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. A man who needs no introduction. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Bobby, how's it going, brother? Good to have you. Pretty good. Man. Thank you Thanks so much for, for having coming. me, Tony. Fuck yeah. Thanks, I love it. Uh, you buddy. too, man. Welcome, red, welcome. Red man. Hell yeah. I love yeah. it. What are we talking about? We, we, just, well, we started. just started. It's fantastic. We're talking about the weekend. We're about to say hello to our friend and head of security here at Kill Tony, the one and only Comic Patriot over yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah, he makes all those noises with his mouth, Bobby. Does it really? Yeah, he's wearing a speaker yeah. box that comes out of his chest. That's why the mic's there. What color is he, though, in, underneath that? White as fuck. I've always wondered. You're white as fuck? White, white. That's right. I had an interesting experience with Bobby. He came up and asked for a picture, and I said yes, but I said, don't do anything kinky. And then when I saw the picture, he dropped his pants. So I'm wondering, if I would have said I wanted something kinky, what, what would it have looked like? We would have fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have babies. Bobby, you love getting... And you've been sober for nine years, too. I can't imagine. Ten, fucker. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. How do you know about Bobby's sobriety? So I heard him on a podcast. I listened to him on Jay Moore podcast. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I do my homework, Tony. Heck yeah. All right. Bobby, I uh, so actually saw you on a radio station, I think, this week. Maybe it was in the Midwest somewhere where you got completely naked. No, naked. I did not. Or... That's absurd. But but what's funny, I don't know if you know what happened after you left. When I left the shit stand? So, so supposedly, allegedly. Are you gonna no, 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 it's not that bad. I mean, it's, like... it's not that bad. Okay, go ahead. Okay. But allegedly, he got uh, a guy named Bobby Lee, not this one, uh, got, got completely naked for a second, sat down on this nice white couch. Anyway, it's pretty oh, close okay. by. <laughs> Rover, Rover. I'm going to tell you what happened. Can I explain it? Yeah. We're not going to have to edit this out, are we? Is this on television? It's funny. Yeah. yeah. But is it going to be on TV or the internet? No, no, no. Internet. Well, yeah. then we can talk about anything, right? Okay. Well, yeah, we can, but sometimes we, we cry. I, I've heard. You right, know. I was on it. I was on it called Rover. I don't know what the fuck. It's called Rover or something. Where is it now? What's Cleveland, it? I think. Hey. And Margaret Cho had done it, right? And Margaret had gotten completely naked. And as a joke, I go, oh, I'll, I'll do it naked too, right? And he had a white a leather couch. And I sat down on it just for like a second naked. And then I put my clothes back on. Right, and then I'm driving home. Well, I'm not driving. The guy is driving, and I had left a brown streak on the leather couch. <laughs> no, because I had a pastrami with eggs oh, before that, what? and I took it like a mean shit, right? And you know how you're, you're in a hurry to wipe all the way? And plus, you never think it's gonna be an issue because I'm not gonna get fu I'm not gonna get laid. But I'm not fucking, right? So I kind of did a half wipe. I sat on a leather couch. When and are then, you ever in that no, much but, of a hurry where you don't need to wipe your ass all the way? What no, do you mean a half wipe? No, because I was eating and then they're like, I, I gotta take a shit and I took a shit. And then we gotta go, we're late. Who was so they in the bathroom telling you you have to go, you're late? No, but so you're just before, like, oh, wait. No, before I went to go, you gotta, it, it can only be like a two minute shit. <laughs> so I clinched, it, I clinched it and then I went to the radio station. I sat on a leather couch, just listened to my story, okay? And then you would think that if you leave a brown stain on someone's couch, that they would just kind of let it go. But they didn't. They, they kept talking about it on the radio. Right. And then I called in. I go, what are you guys talking about? 
and then they cut it out. They what? cut out the leather oh. with the brown streak on it, yes. and then they framed it. Yes. Like my shit is like frameable. Wow. So what the fuck? All right. That's fucking. Awesome. That's hilarious. Yeah, so don't, okay, of course make, they're going to talk about that on <laughs> Cleveland Radio. You think there's anything better going on in Cleveland than you leaving a skid mark on their couch? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. from around there. Yeah, you are? Yeah. I like it there. They're nice white people. I like it. Yeah. Um, fuck yeah, Bobby. Well, you know Is we there another guest? Here. Because I don't want to talk about it. There's a special guest, that, uh, and, and there's a whole format to this show. Uh, we pull comedians' names out of this bucket. There's a lot of comedians here that signed up. Yeah. Uh, a number that's in the high 20s and we go through as many as we can in the allotted time frame before we go to the next segment and okay. they each do a minute and then we talk to them about what they did and who they are and we try to maybe punch up a joke or we talk about their style we find out a little bit about them they go from comedian oh, it's like a, workshop. a little bit they go from a comedian yeah. to a guest oh okay cool oh, you, oh you're a fan of the show okay good oh you've seen every episode um okay great uh <laughs> Um, so, uh, comedians do a minute. Shall we get that part started? Yeah, can, I, can I do it? I want to draw one. Yeah, you can I pull a name, name on. You say their name when you yeah. draw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this yeah. way of doing it. McCall is a hobby. Okay. Dylan Polinaki. <laughs> it's Dylan Polinaki, everybody. There's a Dylan here. I'm going to guess you're the first comedian. Dylan Polinaki. That means wait, a, wait, a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let me make sure you're... Dolan Polniak. I say it's more like... It sounds like he's uh, been... I'm wait, Bobby, 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 before we do that. If anybody ever puts their name in and yeah. they're not here, yeah. we do this thing where they get blacklisted, and then the Iron Patriot has to make this noise. <laughs> Wow, yeah. got, it's a really long one this time. And, uh, the, and they only get one minute, and if they go over the one minute, they no, get but that the, person right there just burned a bridge, and they get a year banned from the club, too, right? Let's just do that. For I them. like yeah. your style. He's banned from the club. Yeah. Dylan Belniak has, Dylan been, been, has just been one banned year. from the comedy store for a year. So if you're just joining <laughs> All right, you just got fucked. Uh, yeah, really bad. Uh, Bobby's going to pull out the name of the end. first. And you only get one oh, yeah. minute. And if they go over the minute, you hear this Luke one. Schwartz. It's Jeffy Dahmer. I call him Jeffy Dahmer. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, um, I do call Jeffy Dahmer. I am changing my frame soon, but it's nothing personal. I hope it wasn't, you know, maybe I, I was affected by it. Okay, you're already 20 oh, seconds yeah. in. Oh, <laughs> great start. Hey, normal guy. I, um, I'm new to LA, and like, they're, like driving is kind of newish. And there's so many fucking, but like, the point is, say the most obvious goddamn thing in the world, I'm sorry, this is a weird start to start in the number one spot, and I'm just doing riffing, and it's the worst thing in the world. I... <laughs> stay in the pocket, stay in the pocket. <laughs> driving is way scarier than we give it credit for. Like, driving is like the most, the weirdest social contract you enter into, because like, at any second, like, anyone can just decide to, like, this guy, and then, like, the, hit anyone they want. Like, the only thing stopping someone from, like, hit, killing a family of four is, like, a yellow line on the ground. Like, that's the only thing. And, like, I think driving is way scarier than a roller coaster, but we just, like, we yell, like, shit on a roller coaster. Like, I think we should... Oh, oh, my God. I just ruined it. No, you didn't. You did great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. First of all, oh, by the way, that meow sound yeah. means it's one minute. If you go over one minute, you get the West Hollywood Bear, which means really oh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, so, that means no, you're, you're running the line. No, you a year at the club. A wow, year another year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bobby, That's a new rule like tonight. If you get go over the bear, then you get the <laughs> fuck. Fuck yeah. yeah. Let's do that one. We are ending comedy careers here tonight. <laughs> okay, so Dahmer, let me say something. All right? When you have a minute, you should just start right away, right? Right. What was that, all that fucking shit you were doing? Yeah. Uh, going number one, uh, and being next to you, I got, I got a little bit. You say you went. Oh man, come here, come here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Got food stain on you. 
And then he did like a hacky premise about driving. Right, it was really bad. It was so bad that even you said, uh, what am I doing up here? I'm riffing. But you had already said a bad premise. After that, you were just trying to save it by saying you were riffing. You were lost. It's all I, I, had, I honestly had high hopes for this, and I was going to do a joke, and then I just... I know, can I just say something? The punchline was yellow lines? No. <laughs> uh, no. But oh, what was the punchline? That was a bad tag, but... Uh, the punchline punch punch is like... You can't have a tag if there's no punchline. <laughs> You're really skipping ahead here, bro. I thought tags were in the middle and... Why did you tag Filipino dudes, is what I want to ask. <laughs> here's, here's what you need, bro. Yes. You need an Iron Patriot suit. Uh, wow, that's. No, that can hurts. I just? I want to say something compliment. I, I don't want to bring this. I know you're, you're the good compliment. Can, can, can I say something? Hi, how are you? Um, Is that, I know. I just. I've been watching you around. I've been watching you around, and you, you just, he has good work ethic. You know what I mean? So let's. Uh, that's good. good. There he goes. Good. One more time for him. Come on, guys. There you go. The best compliment. The best compliment. The best compliment you good, can work get. good work ethic. Good work ethic. That's what matters. All right. All right, pull another one. That was Luke this Schwartz, fun. everybody. This Talking about driving was the name of his topic that he wrote down. We have Crystal Oates. Crystal Oates. Oh, boy. Here she comes from deep in the gullet, from the nosebleed section. Crystal Oates. Sounds like a bar. Oh, I know. Hey. Hey. Thanks for having me, guys. So, hey, comics. We are under some pressure to not be so dirty sometimes when we're, when we're on stage. So every now and then I let the F word fly and you know, my bad, people give me a rough time for it. So I would like to submit two words that are also F words that are way worse than fuck. For example, foodie. Uh, that's just superfluous. Like we don't need that word. We're all fucking foodies because food is fuel. Uh, fashionista. This is a bullshit word. No one who self-describes as a fashionista actually is stylish. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep letting the F word fly. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. Ready? Wow. Only <laughs> using 45 of good, good. All right. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Fuck yeah, the old F word bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> is that like an old thing? You you had you had this no. a lot. Uh, Let me know an original. Well, you know, I mean... It, it, I just didn't understand it. <laughs> you didn't understand? I just understand why it would be funny, though, that what you just did. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, because, oh, no, I'm just saying, though, you say well, F-word, and then it's like, here's some other F-words that should be now bad. Right. So I'm saying that those words are worse than the actual F word, but I get it. You don't like it. No, no, no. no, no, I, like, no I didn't okay. say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm cool. I'm on Trayvon Martin's side. You know what I mean on this? Just, right? Wow. Oh, look at that. I put race into it. I'm so sorry. That, it's not too soon. That was like a week ago. But anyway. Not too soon. <laughs> but, um, I, I, you know what? I get what you're doing, though. You're doing play on words and stuff. Yeah, it's, a, it's adorable. There's no big misdirect. There. Fuck you, Kevin. Fuck you. All right? If this was, uh, if this uh, segment was still called Tag It or Bag It like it once was, that'd be one that I would put in a bag and I'd bury deep in a backyard somewhere. <laughs> Can I say this though? I've seen you perform and you're very funny. Right. Thank you. I agree. Wait, you I just suck this do, time. You just suck I try to do new jokes here. I know. So you totally. Know totally. And that's one Great. where it, it, that new joke is now an old joke. Old joke. Uh, in the bag. <laughs> and uh, that's the bag. And Crystal Oates, I love you. You're the Jackie hey, Brown at Jack. the, the open mic. And I love that. Thanks. There she goes. That's at Big Chris in LA, by the way, on Twitter. If you have any feedback for Crystal, any F words you want to tweet at her? Put your hands together for your. Oh, you want to read it? I yeah, accidentally I want to pulled do it out. It's a habit. Mike Andre. Mike Andre. Wow, another one from the corner. That's the lucky corner, right? The hot corner. It's not great for uh, the 20 seconds of dead air. Oh, oh, hi. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Hello. Oh, shit. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, my family's from the Caribbean, and uh, so I've come to LA, but a lot of people kind of confuse us because my family's from Trinidad, and everyone thinks, like, oh, you guys are Jamaican, uh, which I don't appreciate, but you gotta just listen to the, some of the sounds in uh, Caribbean conversation to let you know which island they're from. Like, uh, Trinidadians always like to make the sound eh in conversations. Like, I saw uh, my aunt this past, like, uh, holiday, she was like, but wait, 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 Mikey, Mikey, last time I see you, you was a baby. No, you're the same height. 
but it is, but it is. Like a uh, Haitians, they make another sound of conversation. It's oh, it's oh, like uh, I saw two Haitians get in an argument, which, by the way, is the funniest thing in the world to see. Cause he was like, oh, where, where's my money? Where is my money? I want it right away. I see him pressing the button, so uh, that's my time. My time. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> no, I would just turn really the high pitch screen. Yeah, can we can we hear just the? Yeah, can we just keep finish the bit? I like the bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what I mean, like, uh, it's like the Haitians, like I saw, there was like in a restaurant, and the guy was like, uh, I need, I need my wife, where, where is my wife? Where is it? Why, why are you doing this to me? Oh, why are you doing this? Uh, finally, you got Africans, and Africans make another sound, uh, that's, ah, ah. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, that's, that, cool. you, that's perfect. Um, awesome. You know what I love awesome. about that? Yeah, is that you can do that, because you know those things. That's yeah. so great that you come from that, uh, you know, culture where you actually know what those sounds are actually like and you paint the picture quickly and I think that's very funny. Yeah. Not only that is, is that like, you know, I just think that this specifically you and it's like, I, I like to learn about cultures and shit like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like you didn't do no bullshit fucking driving job like Dahmer did. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. How long, how, how long have you been in America? Uh, He's born here, dude. That's <laughs> fucking fuck you, Tony. He's just an American citizen right how here, man. How do you know that? What are you talking about? I just got No, that's oh, not that's yes. Wait a second. Now I know he's still in the coming to yes. America voice. Yes. Uh, no, I've, I've been, I was born here. That's uh, right, dog. But, but, yeah. All right, I guess I'm the asshole all You were an asshole. asshole. He said he was from Trinidad. Yes. No, his, my parents are from Korea. I'm not from there. You could be. I know. <laughs> Where are you going? What is this? <laughs> Such an unorthodox podcaster, Bobby. Yeah. Isn't the law like we could smoke on stage because we're performing? Yeah, yeah Bobby, just smoke on stage. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. We're allowed to. No, but you know what? I enjoy you. And how long have you been doing stand up? Oh, five, years. five years. I enjoy you. Get out of here. I love it. Cool. There he goes, Mike Andre. Bobby, come on to the next one. Bobby's in the happy. <laughs> He's at Mike Andre P on Twitter, guys. Oh, shit. Just drop the mic. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, Iron Patriots. Hey, don't, right. don't hate me the player. Ready? Come hate. on. All right, ready? Scott Kids in the house, Daddy. Scott Kids in the house. Right. Wow. Oh. It's a packed house. Oh, a year banned from the club. Year banned. Hit it, Patriot. I swear to God, put that in. Yeah, Blacklist. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even fucking lying. You. You're banned. There he goes, blacklisted. Fuck, stop kid. Pick another one, Bobby. Here we go. Into the bucket he goes. DannyKeatonComedy.com. Wow. This guy He's signs up himself. on his website. Don't go to that fucking website. Right. Yeah, what a piece of shit. Patriot. <laughs> what a shitty website. That's an angel fire website. He was going to talk about cougar dating. Boring. Yeah. Okay. Jim. So people say that I'm too dark, and I am black from the waist down. Frostbite. I fell on a snowbank. <laughs> Passed out in a snowbank. Don't drink anymore. That's one of the reasons. Yeah. But dark or not, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Always been a winner. Three months old, had brain surgery. Three to one odds against me surviving. Here I am, first win. Yeah. With my brother, any kind of game, Monopoly, checkers, chess. I was a world dominator of risk. Always beat him. He's dead now. Another victory for me. Yeah, for sure. Last April, my mom died. I went and I did her funeral. It went pretty well. Everybody seemed really happy she was finally dead. Jesus. Yeah, uh, I got dark at that. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a sad uh, subject. Can I say something? It's a good closer, though. I like the switch, though, the, the, the frostbite. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And I, I, I have another tidbit of fact, though, too. Kurosawa, when he was shooting a movie, he got frostbite on his feet, and he almost had to amputate them. I actually have bad news about your frostbite joke, guys. Stolen. Very, very rarely does this happen. Not stolen. I'm sure you, you probably just haven't heard it before, but a uh, no, very, no. very, very funny comedian named Ryan O'Neill has a joke uh, in which he talks about having a black penis, 
has a frostbite, except his tag's better, and he's been doing it for years, which is, he just fucked a snowman. That's how he got it. Okay. <laughs> and, and, heard that. and up to that point, go. besides the frostbite point, I think that's just a hacky joke, up right. to the point. You know, yeah. So you did like half a hacky joke, then Who you the did like... Who the fuck are we to judge people? Well, it's not about that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, you know what, dude? Go do your thing. I mean, what are we doing when, when, you want to, when you want to be told if there's somebody that's been doing comedy much longer No, no, than thanks for... Thanks for telling me that. I was trying to get like try to get like three in. I've never heard of Ryan O'Neal. Keep doing the fucking job. You know Ryan O'Neal? Who's Ryan Neal's? I don't know. Ryan O'Neal? I don't know who that is. You know him. He's you been keep doing it, all right? He's a paid regulator. So it doesn't matter. Keep doing it. I like the Grateful Dead thing you're doing. I love it. Keep doing it. Great. I love it, man. I love the hippie shit, bro. That's a hook. Get the fuck out of here. All right. All right. Thank you. I, I saved you. Get the fuck out of here. You've done too much road work with Carlos Mencia, bro. Whoa, bro. Really? Encouraging doing bit. Can I just say this, though? Can I just say this? To defend Mencia? No, I'm not gonna. Keep, let's keep going. Let's, let's not say anything. I couldn't think of, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Jen, very funny though. It's... Hey, can I say something real quick? Yes, Patriots. Um, do you remember the episode with Sam Tripoli? And this comedian was on, and he told us he went to jail um, for like over two years for Molly. Because yeah. he was selling Molly. Yeah. And then remember Sam was suggesting, shit, you need to talk about that, because that's more interesting than anything. Oh, that's true. Remember? I'm just trying to remind us of where we were with him, because yeah. he's, prog he's progressing every week. I, mean, I just want to say this too. I don't that... know if he's progressing the way you guys think is good, but. Well, well, you meant you're progressing with an asterisk, too. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, good, good call on that. The flat. I like how you remember everything, so we yeah, don't have yeah. to remember anything. I watch all the episodes. I really like it. Uh, I want to defend Carlos Mencia. Uh, can I do it? Do it. All right. He, he, I can't defend the material, but he's a very good performer. Let's end it there. We, we know that. Let's clap that. Come on, let's clap for that. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't clap that. Tom Reitman. Tom Reitman. There he comes, I'm sure of it. Or else this motherfucker's a year off of the comedy store. Damn, that is unbelievable how bad this house is. Wow. Let me go, Tony. Pick another one. Who said that? Settle down. You're banned now for a year. Yeah, now you're banned for a year. <laughs> Let me go on. Hey, okay. by the way, Macmore is uh, in the back. If you guys are fans of Macmore, he's sitting hey, right there. I don't like this back. guy's name. Can I just put it back in the basket? You know Macmore, right? Somebody I don't like this guy's name. In? Yeah, I invite him on Twitter. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so if you guys like thrift shop, he's sitting right there in the back. Oh, he'll, shit. he'll be around after for photos. Fuck uh, yeah. Okay, we got Kenny Leon. Kenny Leon. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not because we're Asian. Come on, we're Bobby. Like, oh. uh, 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 I'm actually Guatemalan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like Asian girls, I really do. Uh, you know, I got cheesy pickup lines, but this is how I pick up girls from Asia. You know, I'll be like, Ni hao, the hell, you and I are not going out, girl! <laughs> 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 Honey, I say, oh, how are you doing, girl? How are you doing? Kunichi, what is your name? That's it. Where are you going? That's it? That's it? You have another fucking 10 seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I okay, let's it. clap. That was great. Come on, let's clap. He included yeah. applause breaks in his time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask, can I just ask you, when you're writing it, it's because you don't know the Asian language, and so the funny part is you, you know a little bit of it, and then you and then you just do English at the end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't leave, don't leave. I like you. Don't leave, you're cute. <laughs> you are, you're cute as fuck. Oh. Not in a gay way, sir. What the fuck? Uh, how old are you? 21. You're young, right? Wow. How long have you been doing it? What? About to hit four. What you four say? years. About to hit four. About to hit four. About to hit four. Four years, you said? Oh, You've been doing for four years? And you can only do 20 seconds? 
Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. There he goes, everybody. He's like the Me Mexican KT Tataro. No, he's, 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 uh, he's uh, Manny Pacquiao, everyone. Yeah. There he goes. Manny, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Nothing on that? What the fuck? <laughs> Manny Pacquiao? Where can we find him on Twitter? Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Kenneth Lyon. Free Cookie was the this name of that bit, believe it or not. I think it's uh, Adi got too soon to do that I bit. Got the same, I got the same name. I, it's, it, this is meant to be. What? Frank Castillo. Wow! Oh, yeah. There he is. What's up, everyone? Good to see you. I have a, I have a nine to five job, uh, and uh, I, I work at a coffee shop. And I have that one coworker who hits on every single hot chick that walks in. And it's really hard because he doesn't understand that uh, no girl wants to fuck a dude in a green apron. <laughs> he's just he's a cute girl. Just like, what's up, girl? How you doing? Oh, you look good. Come here, let me talk to you. Three steps over to the fucking chocolate croissants. It's like, what's up, girl? How you doing? It's like, you can't hit on a girl near the pastry case. It's really, just doesn't work out too well. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did that happen today? <laughs> <laughs> you just explain what happened today, this morning? Surprisingly, yes. You went to a coffee shop and you went by chocolate croissants and you said, hey, baby, that, that, that's it? <laughs> I was trying to impersonate my really terrible coworker who hits on every time. Right, I want to say something. Come here. <laughs> I love how connective and emotional you get with everybody. <laughs> There's a term they don't use anymore, you young kids, right? Right. It's called meat and potatoes. You got to get to the fucking button. Yeah. All right. You got to know where the button is. That's where the joke is. You know what I mean? But I, I like your whole alternative thing you're doing. Right? I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I've seen you around. I like you, man. You're a good kid, man. Thank you very much. You're actually yeah. uh, intrusive. Very, very uh, big you, fan. You two okay. are going to end up fucking in about 20 Hopefully. minutes. Hopefully. Uh, if it goes... I never fucked a guy, so... <laughs> That's what... Uh, all right. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> you heard something that I fucked a guy? No. Okay, well, let's move on then. I would uh, I'd work on the pastry case thing, bro. I don't know. I don't know if it's happening, man. <laughs> It's, uh, there's got to be something there at some point, but it, right there. I mean, I mean, you should, could uh, incorporate, like, just the stress of hitting on a girl because it's busy, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, incorporate yeah. all that kind of stuff in yeah. it, not just the apron, you know what yeah. I mean? It is an awkward thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Because there's a cute girl on, um, that works at the Starbucks in Studio City. She's really hot, and I've tried to say shit. She's I work blonde. that one, actually. That blonde girl? Which one? I want to finger, 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 finger blast her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I I Wait a second, that. you work at that Starbucks that he's talking about right now? Going on there. Yeah. And there's a blonde girl with a kind of a dark, deeper voice. Yeah. She's not a dude, by the way. But, uh, anyway. but I can't because it's always like, there's always a line, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I know, it's fine. I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? No. You should incorporate all that, man, you know what I mean? Okay, give him a round of applause, there everybody. Yeah, Frank C. Comedy, that's Frank Castillo. Okay? I like that kid. I like Frank Bobby up with that blonde girl, man. It's amazing. Yeah. And I'll give you opening gigs. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I want to get on that. Yeah. He, I don't know what, what it says. Ned Christina Hessing. Wow. That's, uh, that's a bunch of different languages. Let me say Christina Hessing. Hey, if you if you let him open for you, we, we, the only catch is can yeah. can he can you make him uh, wear the green apron still while he's <laughs> yeah, 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 I will. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Peter, is this Peter Here. Christina Hessing? Here, I don't know. I what speak it English. Let me try. <laughs> Uh, it's <laughs> wow, she gave her phone number and everything, or whatever this is. Oh, wow, you're right, this is terrible. So Christina Hessing. Tetra Peter Christine Christian. Peter Christian Hessing. They're not here, so they are banned from the comments. <laughs> you know what? They left their phone number. Should I give out their phone number? Yeah. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Call them right now. That's on the block. Yeah, I'm going to call them. Let's call them. No, oh yeah, no, that's a yeah, great idea. Yeah. On speakerphone. Yeah. Speaker yeah. Speaker yeah. I'm gonna ban her. I'm gonna ban her right in front of everybody. Just <laughs> now she's gonna have her phone number. No, no start. I don't give a fuck. All right. I, I think it's gonna be a. Uh, I think it's gonna be a guy. By the way, I think it's Peter Christian. Well, then if it's a guy, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blacklisted. <laughs> Back blacklisted. Okay. We got. Uh, how did all these dudes? Can we just get a girl up here? That we, we save them. We well, not we save them. There's All right, Brian two. Moreno. Yeah. There he is. There he is. We have two regular ladies that always go up at the end of the show. We have a special segment of that tonight. What's up, 
The other day, I heard my dad say, uh, Brian is still trying to be a comedian, but at least he's not in prison. <laughs> and that, that upset me because prison is a close race with my life right now. It's like in prison, you get guaranteed health care. If I get sick, I have Google and Robitussin. In prison, if you go to a country club prison like Martha Stewart, you get cable and Wi-Fi. I steal internet from two of my neighbors. In prison, you're not necessarily going to get raped, but there's a chance you may. In show business, you're definitely getting raped. Ask Bobby. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but the other thing... <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is this? Anyone ask me <laughs> from now on? If anyone asks me about my uncle Eddie, I'm gonna be like, "Look, Uncle Eddie's still in prison, but at least he's not a fucking comedian." <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we almost had the belly room roast of Bobby Lee there for a second. He, he attacked you. Have you ever been raped? <laughs> oh man, I I mean, I've seen some of those goals he took. Oh no, I'm just man! No, I'm just no, I want to talk about that. No, no, I'm just kidding. That's I like, one I like Bobby. No, what role? Let's fight. I, I like fight. Bobby. <laughs> I like what, Bobby. What roles? Yeah, what role did I get fucked at? You think I, I got fucked? I don't think you should. I, I don't think you should have been the veterinarian. Is that what it was? I don't think that was good for you. Really, the NBC show? Yeah, I don't. I don't Yeah, I didn't think that. So was they good called for me. And they I auditioned. They said you got it. Am I going to say no? No, no, no. I just. Uh, <laughs> said, you're, you're better than that. I just think you're better than that. I'm just saying though. They said, we'll pay you $45,000 a Yo, week. Oh, trust me. All right? I and I said, too. and they go to guaranteed 13 episodes. Wow. So I said, I'll do it. Did you film 13? <laughs> yeah, we did. Wow. All right? Get out of here, man. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Hey, what, what did, did they take care of you on The Dictator? Because I noticed you were in that movie. Fuck yeah, the dictator, you were in that. You know, I was in a couple of scenes, but thank you, Patriot. Uh, well, good, That's a, that was a huge movie, No, it wasn't. It ended it, but thank you. <laughs> uh, All right, come on, let's, keep, let's get it going, guys. Another one. What, what, what's just, the guy's name? I like you, you know that. We're just doing a thing. All right, you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> How long? It's just for like a month, maybe. Okay. One month ban on Brian Moreno yeah. for all of you keeping track. <laughs> Justin Blake. <laughs> wow. Uh, what's going on guys? Um, I'm not much of a drug user myself, but uh, you can learn a lot from my people who <laughs> people who do, do drugs. Like, <laughs> wow. Uh, people do do drugs. Like uh, people who do acid are like deeper thinkers. People who do shrooms are more open minded. People who do crystal meth are trash. Mostly white trash. I say mostly to be politically correct because I easily could have just kind of stuck with trash. But I've learned the most from weed and like people use weed. Like I, I know somebody who actually sucked a dick for weed. And what I learned was he really wanted to suck a dick. Like the weed was just kind of like an added <laughs> the deal. Uh, that's my deal. Very good. It's funny. That's <laughs> um, true. Can I ask a couple of questions? How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, like, you real though. <laughs> like uh, like a, I've been going hard like a year. A hard, only a year. Yeah. Okay. My first show. I, I don't. I didn't ask that. On. I didn't ask you were that. On it. Oh, I was. What oh, was are it? Are you interested? In that? No, I was not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually not. <laughs> but it was it was here in the belly room. It was back when I was selling the first. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> well, no, it was. Here. A random. I remember. You know, let's say uh. Aside from the meth, the meth, I, who's done meth? It's the best drug ever, so that's that, that's that. Have you done it? Yeah, I do. You know, He's done everything. Yeah, I've done everything. Meth is the best drug ever, so that's that. And then, but the, the, the other joke, the joke at the end was very funny. Thank you. Okay, so. Thank yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Thank you. I'm so surprised that you didn't have Bobby. There's Justin Blake, everybody. I like I'm... Him. I like him a lot. IG Justin Blake on... I'm is what is Listen, because meth is like like everyone does people do it, right? You think it's meth? painful, like you think no, it's a great thing, man. Right. You notice how we're not doing any tags this episode? Bobby's just like scoots them off, like get out of here with like a burn. Oh, yeah, he's, he's gotta have full control. Yeah. Well, is that what it is? I don't know how this works. No, okay. I'll leave. 
No, 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 no. We're gonna take a break, though. No, come on. All right, let's Don't keep going. Let's keep going. Come on, do it. Take a break. Take a break. <laughs> I'm used to television. We take commercial breaks. They don't even let me take a break. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? This is my second podcast. Breaking Phil DiGianniaro. Phil DiGianniaro. Phil DiGianniaro. Oh, you dumbass, Phil. You're a real dumbass. Because you just got blacklisted. Patriot. <laughs> Patriot. Jeremy hey, Paul. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jeremy Paul. There you go. Jeremy, Jeremy Paul. Paul. Oh, damn. Heck yeah. People are getting blacklisted and then others are just on the list or just black. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah. All right. There's a thing that, there's a thing that all bad parents do. They all say the same thing. They say, oh, I did the best, we did the best we could with what we had. You did the, yeah, my parents could never say that, because they'd be lying. Uh, my parents, the best you, the best you could do was the projects in Peoria, Illinois. That was the best you could do. A place so dangerous it no longer exists. That's the best you could do. The best you could do is government peanut butter. <laughs> government. Anybody know what government peanut butter looks like? It comes in a white can. It's delicious. <laughs> I had seen cocaine before I ever tasted a Big Mac. That's the best you can do? <laughs> That's the best you... I was nine years old and I was the only person in the house with a job. That's the best you can do. <laughs> yeah, I'm finished. I love it. I like it. Like 52 seconds. When you first walk out, I go, oh my god, it's Ghost Dog. <laughs> Anybody watch that movie? Okay, let's yeah, move on. We, uh, let, let me say something. Probably quality. I, 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 I enjoyed everything. Everything. Okay. It was good. You're Jeremy Paul? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah, very, very funny. Um, fuck yeah. Rock yeah. and roll. I love it. Uh, yeah, the best, they, one, uh, best one so far. That could be, yeah, totally. And that could be a very long bit. I don't know if that's just a part of it. No, yeah, you can you tell. Can go yeah, on you're and a on. clever little fucker, yeah. aren't you? I can tell. Good promise on that. Right. All right, here comes Jeremy Paul. You've been dismissed by Bobby Lee. <laughs> Very funny. It's uh, on Twitter. His name's Jeremy Paul Says. Six? Is that what that says? J.B. Anthony. J.B. Anthony. Is there another black guy? Uh, oh, I'll, I'll go J.B. Anthony. J.B. Anthony. Look at this guy. Holy shit. All right, here we go. By the way, I bought that painting at the skid mark. I paid $3,000 for that fucking thing. It was terrible. Okay, let's get that. Okay, my name is J.P. Anthony, and uh, what I'd like to talk about, I know people are annoyed by it, is cougars. Now, in the East Coast, we don't call them cougars. We call them having sex with grandma. That's what we call it. Okay, oh, oh, this sounded funny in my mind, but I guess not. Okay, uh, go on to the next one. And... Uh, <laughs> Wow, this is bombing really good. You see, well, I'm here to make the other comedians look better. That's what they're really there for. Okay? But anyway, is it time up yet? No, keep going! Holy shit. <laughs> this is a debacle. Just say something. Uh, I'm leaving. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Oh, come oh, on. No. Don't do that. Yeah, how, how about this? Let's I refuse. Wait, wait. Start it over. Start it over. We'll give him another minute. Oh, my God. Let's give him another minute, all right? So I'm going to say your name. You just go back over there. Go back over there, come back up. But hey, take out the fucking shit thing. Right. You know, right? All right, all right. Right? And, and take out the fucking negativity. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to get it. I mean, it. Yeah, that's not working. Right. Or what's his name? And don't, uh, what's his fucking name? JB Anthony. Everybody, JB Anthony! Give him another minute, guys. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hey. Now, um, my name is JB Anthony. I oh, hope people don't believe me that I'm Puerto Rican. But, I'm a Norican. What is a Norican? A bunch of Puerto Ricans who can't speak Spanish. Okay? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you asked another minute. Skip that one. Skip that okay. one. Keep going, keep going. Alright, yeah, let's see. Okay. Now, when a lady starts dressing her dogs, start putting a chihuahua <laughs> with a French poodle, with a French beret and a little bow tie is not a sign of love, 
is a sign of mental illness. Okay? When they start pulling them in strollers and curtains, it's time for the rubber room. It's time to go. You are mentally ill. Okay? Now, well, wow, that was also funny in my mind. <laughs> oh well. Okay. 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 Where the is there's the bear. Uh, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. You're not allowed to leave that. I need, I need to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Have you been on stage before? Not in a long, long time. Oh. When's the last time you were on stage? Because the Late way. Eighties. What did you do? Like Russia? Uh, nah, stage was at a strip like, club or something? Like nah, what is I was this? doing uh, like dice man material. Can we, can we hear some of that? Can you do an impression yeah. of the I dice, the dice man. man? Do the dice I thought man. I was going to say construction last time they did on stage. <laughs> <laughs> do, do something that you would do dice man style. Uh, let's see. Nah, it's it's politically incorrect, so I can't do it. Oh, we'll believe it. We'll believe it. We'll believe it. The fact that you even called it politically incorrect <laughs> means it can't possibly cross a boundary we haven't heard of before. So just go with it. Okay. Uh, how does this... Uh, Bisexual thing work. What do you go to a room, look around, find the prettiest person in the room? Do you flip a coin in the morning? Is it Tuesdays and Fridays is dress day, and the rest of the week you're straight? Is that how it works? All right, like I it. said. Oh my God. <laughs> JB. No, no, don't, don't. Come on, guys. I want to be supporting dreams, okay? No, so, no. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't ever come back here. <laughs> <laughs> Until we get to it. Yeah, just, I, I, let me just say something. Let me just put this down, okay? Don't touch that. Um, oh, come here, come over here. Um, here's the thing, though. It's like, you know, if you want to do this, you got to do it five times a week. Okay? Yeah. Right? This is a serious thing. Okay? Yeah. JB Anthony, everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, first joke with the grandma and the cougar, it wasn't that bad. He just acknowledged it. He, he made a big deal out of it. He just would have kept going. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't an average joke. I mean, you know, he just it said it was funny in my mind and he stopped and you know what I'm saying? Should he just kept flowing? I know what you're saying and I think you're wrong in this instance. Well, well, I actually didn't get the joke, but when he said, you know, fucking grandmother, it took me a second to be like, oh, yeah. it's just how he didn't deliver it right. But yeah, you're right. That's just move on. I mean, yeah, his, his insecurity got the best of him. It's true. Yeah, I agree with that. True. And you're the head of insecurity. Uh, I, got, I, I gotta pick on a girl. I, can't, I, I gotta pick on a girl here, man. I can't do it. I think, this, I think this is a girl right here. Gabrielle Killian. <laughs> That's Gabrielle. definitely a girl. That's definitely a girl. Gabrielle Killian. Fuck yeah. Here's oh, Gabrielle. No. Gabrielle right here. A beautiful oh, young son. lady. <laughs> Let's Salvo from Salvo. System of the Down. Respect. Respect. Look, he wore your shirt today, Bobby. Oh, nothing? Uh, okay. When I found out you were here, I had to go home and change. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is embar kind of embarrassing, but uh, I just got out of a very abusive relationship. My girlfriend was incredibly fucking insane. I just couldn't stop eating the shit out of her. <laughs> trannies, man, fucking trannies. You can't even tell the difference anymore. I dated one for three weeks before she told me. And by then, I'd already blown them six times. <laughs> man, I surprised myself every day. But that's probably because I forget to flush every night. <laughs> that was great. Oh, you got it? Okay, awesome. Um, fuck yeah. Gabrielle, that was uh, really entertaining. And you talked louder like last time you were a little bit more quieter, I think, or something. Yeah. But yeah. You, you really... Uh, I it's Put definitely it the best stage presence you've had out of the couple times yeah. I've seen you, here, without a doubt. So they keep up. Oh, I'm I'm gonna say something kidding. real. Can I say something real? Oh yeah. I feel like from the heart. I'm gonna say it from the heart, bro. Um, uh, first of all, I'm not Japanese, so fuck you. But anyway, um, it's a Japanese symbol. I know. Okay. But I think that if you once you once you get stage time and you get more comfortable because you're a little nervous still, but I think that that persona could work. I really do. Yeah. So I just think that you gotta go up. Here's what it is, dude. What what happened? 
it's a, like failing is a good thing. Bombing is a good thing. The more you bomb, the more relaxed you get on stage. Because what happens is you just grow a, a layer of skin, right? Because I just want to say, this is my opinion, is, is that the key to comedy is, is stage time. But the reason why it's stage time, because you want to fail, right? Because inevitably what happens is you just don't care about failing and that's where you want to be. And then you become naturally yourself, all right? So go up a lot, bomb, and then, you know what I mean, I think it'll work out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I never even thought about it that way. It's very interesting. No, I, that, that's, oh, yeah. I 100 percent believe that theory. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean, I always tell people to bomb a thousand times because what happens is then you just you literally don't care when you're on stage and you're you feel like you're around your parents or whatever. One depending on your relationship with your parents or your friends or whatever, that's where you want to be. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's the difference between most comedy store comedians and other comedians too, because the original room is like a death chamber. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's why. Like uh, you know, uh, like I used to do Sundays and Mondays religiously right. you know, when I was younger. Okay, you guys want to all clap at once for the world famous comedy store? Huh? Yeah. That's right. But anyway, good job. There you go. Fuck a really good job. At Gabriel Killian on Twitter. How are we going to do? Because i got to go, man. Good job. You're doing fine. Right, Just stay in the pocket, Bobby. Okay. Stay in the pocket. Fuck me. you got to do a spot downstairs? No, but... Oh, fuck. Mugzilla. Oh, Mugzilla, yeah. everybody. Mugzilla. Oh. Last time I let you pick out of the bucket. No, you picked you pick another one. I can't, no, I'm kidding. I'm not good. Okay. Mugzilla. Ah. Uh. Oh shit. oh shit. Fucking royal baby. The royal baby gets what the royal baby fucking wants. If the royal baby wants twerking, the royal baby gets a twerking. <laughs> royal baby came out of the fucking hole where seven, no, 375 million. If he lives to be 70, that's 100,000 a month. So, trust me, the royal baby gets what the royal baby wants. And the royal baby at this stage of the game probably wants royal titty. And he's not getting it. Why? His mom's a commoner. But if the royal baby wants royal titty, he's going to get royal titty. There ain't none of those royal bitches ain't going to give him titty. And... If there's some royal lactating titty, he can afford it. Fucking royal baby gets what Holy the royal shit. baby wants. I can't believe that was a minute of a uh, minute of royal baby. Uh, <laughs> I almost said material, but it's not really material. It's just you saying that the royal baby gets what the royal baby wants. Yeah, you seem very angry about this baby. Yeah. Not getting titty. Of all the premises in the news that you could have picked to write a new minute on, I would say that that's one of the worst, right? Because people, you hate the royal baby. Well, it was in honor of Bobby. Oh, please. why? Because you are the royal baby of the comedy store. Oh my god. What the fuck does that mean, bro? <laughs> well, if the royal baby wants a mustache, the royal baby gets a mustache. Fuck yeah. this motherfucker right here. What? He's really reaching. I don't even know what's going on, but... Uh, I know. Mugzilla. All right, really... I love it, man. You're great, man. <laughs> hey, Bobby, yeah, can I ask you one question? Go ahead. Straight for 10 years now? Right? Yeah, yeah. Wait. You finally off the buzz? What does that mean? Oh, you were buzzed. What the fuck? What the fuck is he talking about this guy? 10 years later, he's still buzzed? Okay. Okay. Mugzilla. Put the mic in the mic. Put the mic in the mic. Mugzilla. Mugzilla, everybody. Bobby, be careful. Patriot. Mugzilla, stop touching Bobby. Please don't touch me, Mugzilla. Stop touching him. Iron security. Flash your light at him. I'm going to try to get my mic in. By the way, for those of you that don't know, the Iron Patriot. Let's get a girl up here. Can we get a girl up here, please? Bobby. Yeah. It's coming to the end. You need to jerk off. No, I mean, you got to mix it up, though. Save the best for left. Jared Horton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This girl. Oh, 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 What's up, y'all? Uh, 
My little sister just started dating. Uh, I don't like it. I think I'm gonna start tickling all of her boyfriends. <laughs> because if they're not ticklish, that means they're definitely a rapist. I think, uh... <laughs> Do you have any royal baby material? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I just had to say it. Keep going. I paused it. Sorry. Um, we'll edit that out of the podcast. I think, I think if, uh... I think if she ever invites him over, she'll be safe. Because she sleeps on a twin-size bed. You know, he only has enough room to make her watch him masturbate. I don't know. I can say that because I sleep on a twin-size bed. Uh... It sucks. I'm obviously too big for it. Every time I wake up in the morning, I feel like a kid whose wish came true. I don't know. You know how hard it is to convince a woman to have sex with you on a twin size bed? The conversation usually goes like this. No. It's very funny. John, you've been on a few times. You're always funny. How did you put the, the connection between tickling and... Uh... Well, because I used to, I like the, the when I first wrote it, I used to try to act it out, but I'm not really good at that. Cause you can't, you can't like uh, rape somebody and be ticklish. Cause I was, I was uh, messing around with my homegirl. Just messing around. With her. <laughs> You're raping her. No, <laughs> but I'm ticklish, so like when she touched me, like I can't. Right. Like, I, I, I said the same thing to uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, he does the UFC. That you know, if I was in a fight and I was on the ground, get my ass kicked, that would just start tickling the guy to get out of it. Yeah. Which seems like it would make sense if the guy's super, super tickling. Yeah, tickling is it's a, it's a it's disadvantage. It's also a, a new, like, he wasn't, it wasn't hacky, like, it was a new, like, it was a weird, his point of view kind of an angle, and that's why I liked it. Yeah, I think Even though there was not a connection there, yeah. I was like, oh, it's a new, it's his thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's trying to be creative with the but situation. But maybe add a, a Here's another add thing, when you said this, when you said, I'm not good at whatever you said, the acting out, is that what you said? Yeah. Take that out of your vocabulary, yeah. because the thing is, is that even if you don't think you're good at it, you should try. Yeah. Right? You should always try everything. If you don't know how to do impressions, still try. Right? Because you're young, and this is this is the time where you can experiment. The, I, this fucking negativity <laughs> is bullshit. What negativity? You're do we're doing it. This is exactly no. What but happened. what I'm saying is from you guys is like no more. Oh, I don't know. That's not my strength. Just try it. No more negativity. All right. I'm ask you something real quick. Okay, cool. <laughs> remember, what, remember when, when me and John saw you at uh, at IHOP and you came up to our table? Oh my God. What did I say? You were you were fucking with us, but you had like two bad white bitches with you. That's right, dog. Of course, yeah. it's Bobby Lee. That's right, dog. That's right, dog. It's Bobby Lee. That's what do you think gonna be? Why didn't you like share? You could have brought him over or something. Nah, man. Why that's not that's not opener pussy. That's headliner pussy. <laughs> Bobby does not take white hot bitches to IHOP for that's the right, stolen from right. him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I love, hey bro, I have my eye on you, my little eye eyes on you, bro. Very funny, Jerron Horton. I have my little eyes on you, bro. At Jerron Horton on Twitter. I like that one, I like that one, man. Always a funny person to have around. You, that's where you take hot white bitches? IHOP? <laughs> that's where you're going? Getting fucking pancakes? <laughs> it was, what, hey, yo, what time it was at? This was uh... Three in the morning, right? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Four in the afternoon. No, it was like uh... No, yeah, it was like, it was like, it was like... 12.31. Yeah, exactly. What are the options? Well, Korea town, then you're, you go to parks or something. Then you're like spending like... I thought you were going to say the Korea town oh, IHOP. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Matt Devlin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's hilarious. Oh, okay. This guy's actually like a fucking pro comic. Like? Like. Oh, Jesus. What are you... Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. How are we doing for time? <laughs> my mother called a couple days ago. She says, how are you going to make your Trayvon Martin jokes? I said, very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it when you wake up in the middle of the night to take a leak and you accidentally piss all over? seat but you can't clean it off because you're not wearing any socks. <laughs> Where were we? Oh yeah, gun control. <laughs> you want to you see assault rifle reform in this country? Somebody's going to have to shoot up a pet store. 
<laughs> Planned Parenthood should do a group on. That's fucking awesome. That's great. I love that. Dude, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. No, you can have one, but it's like you're like you're already there, so why do you need to sign up for this? Uh, uh, Get out of here. Tony's, you're already good. I'm not leaving until you give me a cigarette. Oh, here, here, Dustin. Tony's brother Obi serves me regularly. Yeah. That was awesome. There's nothing you need to add to that. It's like, Matt Devlin's a badass motherfucker. He tours the country. Yeah, he's a nice, nice enough to sign up and do this show. Uh, we're going to be excited for Matt Devlin. Does he have a Twitter address? At mdevlin314. Is that correct, Matt? No, I don't know what it is. You want to know what your Twitter handle is? All right, just, just Google and then add the word comedian. Matt Devlin, D-E-V-L-I-N. Very funny man from Boston. There he goes. One more time for Matt Devlin, everybody. Rick, Ricky Luna. Oh, shit. <laughs> you either love him or you hate him. It's Ricky Luna. <laughs> Uh, this is my impersonation of a Mexican um, STD doctor in a clinic. Yo have chlamydia. I used to live in San Francisco and I used to smoke cigarettes. Um, unrelated. And uh, this guy asked me for a cigarette. He was pushing a cart and he said, Excuse me, motherfucker, you got a cigarette? And I said, yes, absolutely, sir. I gave him a cigarette. He gave it back to me and he said, This is a menthol. I don't fuck around with no menthols. That was the day that I learned that beggars can be choosers. Thank you. That's all. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Did that really happen in San Francisco? Yes, it did. What was the first thing you talked about when you do that? Uh, it was a uh, Mexican uh, STD <laughs> clinic. Did you have chlamydia? No, I used to, but that's all cleared up now. That's something that you could go into more. Yeah. Talking about that's chlamydia? A good, that's a, no, that's just a good character. You know, like, you could have, talk about, you need to put some pico on top of your vagina yeah, or whatever. <laughs> Hombre. Okay, cool. Um, Microphone, Bobby. I know, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Bobby Lee has some input. No, it's not awesome. that. It's just, I just want, I, I want to err on a personal thing. I don't know why. Have you ever noticed with you and I yeah. that I'm mean to you? No, you're not mean. I don't I, think I, I'm so. I'm very distant with you're you. You're distant, and you gave your reason in the, in the... What was the reason why? The reason was because you said that, um, you said, you said, uh, you said uh, something along the lines of, I can't talk to you until you start working. That's not what it is. Something like that. I'm going to tell you what it is. What was it? When, uh, this is, and I'm not delusional. Okay. All right? Because I just saw you just now. Yeah. And I go, he is, he, he's funny. You can do it. You know what I mean? You've been working hard at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So like I can tell hard. that, you know what I mean? You're, you've got this like kind of a rare, Dom Herrera kind of like an energy. You know what I okay. mean? Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah, the thing is, is that when you first got here, you said that you had HIV and then you had, what's his, you blew, what's his name? Mervis. Mervis. Right. So then, then I thought, well, he has HIV, and he didn't tell Mervis that he had HIV, and he blew him anyway. So then I had a fucking big problem with that. So let's air this out right now. Okay. Do you have HIV? Yes. And you blew Mervis? Yes. Did you tell him? No. Really? Is this all true? I just found this out a couple months ago. That you had HIV? Out. Yes, correct. But then two years ago, you told me you had HIV. Well, I didn't know you two years ago. What? I didn't know you two years ago. Uh, well, when you first got here, I mean. Right. I don't know when you got here. <laughs> all right, cool. let's just air this out now. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I'm gonna start Aura with you. Right. All right. Okay, cool. Next time you blow anybody, right? You know, have them wear a condom. Absolutely. And tell them you have HIV. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. I'm, now I'm not done with you. All right. You mean to tell me you have HIV? And wait, you just found out about it? Yeah, really? A couple, a couple months ago. You don't seem too happy about that. Uh, what? I mean, it's not a thing. I'm wow. sorry you have HIV. Oh, it's not, don't worry, it's so not your sorry. fault. I'm so sorry. No, you're good, it's I not your it's fault. Not my fault. But I'm just saying okay. that if you're gonna blow people, right. do you think they should know? Did you uh, did you know you had HIV like after you uh, hooked up? Do you know who gave it to you or no. how you got it? No. Yeah, really? Wow. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Just right? from now on, just tell people because it's like it's weird. Yeah. Okay, come on, give it a All right, everybody, yeah! yeah. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
surprised like people that <laughs> people like don't know that. Man, I'm all well, I mean, he told me that, and I'm like, and he's just boom. I don't know how you blow that. I mean, that's really some coincidence. But I just assume you do this, right? You grab the chief. I don't know, but um, so that's it. Yeah, that's it, it. it just seems. But I, I want to say this as a positive note, though, bro. Is is that you're comfortable? You know what I mean? And I want you to succeed. But that's why I've been weird with you for so long. Like I don't want. I, I wouldn't even look at you in the eyes because right. I'm like, this guy's a fucking bastard. Right. But I'm, you know what? I'm willing to give a clean slate with you, and I will say hi to you from now on. Right? Like, if you start changing your fucking behavior, man. Yeah, that's really and interesting. I'm being, I'm being real, guys. That you told Bobby that you. Yeah, had what would I, I, why, I, 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 I don't need to know those things. And then all of a sudden, you caught HIV. That's, that's even a crazier coincidence than... All right, Tommy Lee, guys. Tommy Lee. Turns out HIV is not the most positive subject. Get a positive subject, everybody? All right. I know him. Fuck yeah, you guys are uh, the same color. <laughs> uh, so on a more, uh, more positive note, uh, I just got a new girlfriend. Uh, uh, less exciting. positive note. <laughs> she's, uh, she's black. Um... Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Uh, people say like race shouldn't matter in a relationship, uh, but it does. It really does. Um, because my last girlfriend was black, and it's really easy to get manipulated when you're in an interracial relationship. Like because she would use my lack of knowledge of black people against me. She'd be like, every time she wanted to do something, she was always like, black people don't do that, Tommy. I'm like, wait, black people don't hold hands and hug in public and show affection. Sorry. <laughs> Like, and her phone was like 90% dudes, and she had a lot of male friends. She would text them all the time. I'd be like, hey, babe, what's going on with that? And you know, she was like, oh, it's a black thing, Tommy. You don't get it. I'm their home girl. Those are my home boys. I'm like, all right, well, have fun at Johnny's house. I'll pick you up tomorrow morning uh, from that. Uh, so I just started teaching her about Asian stuff, too, man. I was just like, so I taught her that Asian people don't do dishes. Uh, we don't steal $50 out of your wallet um, or fuck your sister. So that's what we do. <laughs> There you Thank go. You. <laughs> Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. What kind of Asian are you? Uh, I'm half Chinese. Half what? Half white. Nice. But the whites is kind of a mix of stuff. Cause... Yeah, I did it. Heck yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, unless you have anything to say to them, we're going to jump to our next segment of the show. Is that ready? Well, I do have things to say, but if okay, you want to go, go to the next segment. No, I, I want to know what you want to say about to Tommy. Um, I don't know. There's just so much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about private. There you we'll go. Talk private. Tommy Lee, everybody. Yeah, there he goes. All right, now everybody, this is a really, really, really exciting night, and I'm so happy that uh, Bobby, you're here. We always uh, close out every show. Um, wait, I haven't brought you up yet. Hold on a second. It's too exciting. I'm too. I'm too excited. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a special guest for, as you guys may or may not know, we always have our lovely two regular ladies, uh, Sarah Mostajabi and Kimberly Congdon, do a spot. Tonight, we have a very, very, very fucking special guest for this segment of the show, um, here to sit in and give us his thoughts and feelings on our two lovely regulars. Uh, this is a rare occurrence in the podcast world. We're so lucky to have him here. Mitzi Shore's right-hand man and the talent coordinator of the world-famous comedy store. Put your hands together for the one and only Tommy Morris, everybody, is here. There he is. Tommy Morris. Boom. All hail the king. He is here. Great to have you on here, Tommy. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody is. It's nice being here with you guys. Heck yeah. Good to have you. Now, have you explained to Tommy uh, what these two girls have been doing, or have you? Uh... I think uh, you know I, I, we're really lucky because Tommy has an office that's down the hallway, and oftentimes on these nights on Mondays he's down there making lineups, uh, and I think you get to hear some of what goes on in here, right? Yes, I've heard the evolution <laughs> of your show, <laughs> and it's cool. I like it. I think it's uh, great premise, and. Uh, Red Band, you know, he's, he's been a part of many things for many people, and I think he's done a great job for them. I was just happy to see him bring something that was his alive, and Tony, you were the perfect person to anchor him, so you guys are doing a great job, right? Wow, now. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, shit, we have that recorded. We have multiple recorded. Is this thing on? I love that. Uh, Iron Patriot, you know, uh, our, this is the talent coordinator of the comedy store. 
Yeah, I did, wasn't he pivotal in the beginning of your career? Cause, oh, oh, definitely. Because I, I, I remember on the podcast something about you didn't, you weren't talking about your gay face or anything. And, oh, right, yeah. And he, he kind I, of brought that on, out of you. Yeah, but Patriot talking about on Dean Del Rey's podcast, I believe it was, right, Patriot? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about uh, how you have an amazing knack at being able to, you don't give, you're the talent coordinator here, and you don't give people, you don't tell anybody what to do. No. And uh, you have amazing ways of going, of like making people figure out things. I want to say opinion. something about Bobby. Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> I was here before Tommy was here, and I was here during the 90s. And the lineups were the worst lineups you could ever see. Like people that were dead. Wrong. <laughs> people that had been doing, like on a Saturday night in a main room, you would have people that had been doing it for like a week. I mean, that's how insane this club was, and no one was coming. You know what I mean? I was like a doorman here, and it was like the worst club in LA. And, and you know, Tommy, he, he's done some not controversial things, but he's done things to to back up his philosophy. But he ultimately has changed the the, the club in, in a great way. He got rid of all the fucking bad comics, and he brought in a lot of headliners and like guys like Bill Burr and David Off and all these New York guys that were moving in here. And he brought them in. He brought Silverman in. Like before, like they wouldn't put Sarah Silverman on the OR. You know, what I mean? they wouldn't put on Bill Burr because they had to be passed by Mitzi. You know what I mean? And you changed that. You know what I mean? So yeah. in many ways, I mean, in a lot of ways, you changed the club. I, and now I'm leaving. No, 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 no. no because I, I want to go. My, my, th th oh, yeah. oh, okay. my thing, going. my thing, I worked on was to try to help it be healthy. You know, this is a creative place. A lot of people get up and work out. These guys are doing what they're doing. Bobby has, was already uh, on television when I met him, but continues to be a dynamic performer because he uses these stages to keep his craft home. One of the things you're going to learn about stand-up as you go along is if they make it look easy because they work hard at it all the time. Every <laughs> night. I love it. I love they it. have to be obsessed with it. To be honest with you, as I'm sitting before you, I'm a performer by nature. Been on stage, I was a music theater major in school, the lead in every play, lead singer band, I did all this stuff. But when Mitzi talked to me and she's like, oh, I think you gotta be a comedian, I went, you know, Mitzi, I, I've been around here for a few months and I realized that the people that do it are obsessed with it. She goes, absolutely. I went, I know I could do it, but I'm not obsessed with it. I said, what I am becoming interested in, which is the reason I'm sitting here, is I said, what I am becoming interested in, Mitzi, is you. I never met anyone like you before. And she's like, nor will you ever again. <laughs> and I became interested. And you know too, Bobby, because you've talked to her. Yeah. So that's a little bit why Tony has me here too, is that I have an ability. She said people that are very talented can see talent. And that's one of my secrets. I'm very talented. She knew I was. But whether I'm using it or not in the same capacity or not, doesn't matter. I can still see it. And one of the things, she is a big byline, which you guys are going to learn exists in the comedy store in our walls is it's a sin to encourage mediocre talent. She said that to me too, and she also said that, this is what else she said, she says, Bobby, you know what makes a star? I go, what is it? And I was a kid, I was like 24 years old, I was living in San Diego, and she used to drive down there with Freddie Soto um, in the limo, and I used to just, she would take us to like steak dinners and stuff, it was really cool. And this is 1995, 96, and she said, what makes a star is two things. Number one, half the people have to love you. I go, cool, what's the other thing? Half of them have to equally hate you. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. So it's like, whenever, like on Twitter, people go, I, you pan face gook? Like people say shit. You're not funny, quit, right? And to me, for them to like, get, go out of their way to write that, that hatred, doesn't really, I mean, it, it does sting a little bit, but you, you know that you're in the right realm because that's what Mitzi said, right? Like that, you have to cause Emotion, so it's like when people say you suck or this and that. That's that's a good thing because you're you're causing reactions out of people. You know what I mean? There's only a few comics that are lukewarm that everyone loves. You know what I mean? I mean, like I think Seinfeld's kind of like that. Maybe Ray Romano, but like people like Roseanne Barr or even Jim Carrey in many ways cause a reaction. You know what I mean? A lot of people hate him, but a lot of people love him. Dane, people love Dane. But people hate him, you know what I mean? But that's why Dane stays 
where he's at, you know what I mean? But the problem that Dane has is he's not artistically validated by other artists, and that's why he goes crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talented by, uh, he pushes out a great energy, a great performance, a great delivery, a great work ethic, but does he have natural ability? That might be what's missing. There are three things Mitzi told me that, that people have that make it, which you have, Adi. Talent, work hey, ethic, and desire. Talent, work ethic, and desire. And the way she named the desire. desire. The desire line is, for people, is that she goes, they have to want it more than babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Can I say something real quick? Yes, I am um, Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on Twitter, I noticed uh, several people tweeted that they thought Joe Rogan would be a great guest on this show. Um, uh, but those people, I don't think they realize that he had a falling out of this club, and he refuses to come back. Um, Red Band, is uh, there anything that could bring him come back? <laughs> yeah. You're like, you could bring up like an entire episode. Yeah, that's too <laughs> long to talk about. We actually have to, because we have the Ding Dong Show, World Famous Ding Dong right. Show at 10 o'clock, so let's... Uh, but just you should have an episode of that, because yeah. there's a lot of... I was in the middle of all that shit, too. Uh, you're, right. I was more than in the middle. I'm the one that made the call. If anyone wants wow. to know what really happened with Joe Rogan, Patriot... All you have to ask is me. Wow. Because I wow. know everything. Damn. <laughs> Powerful Tommy Morris. Wow. Truth. Holy shit. All right. Well, uh, you know, he's trained by the queen of stand-up comedy, Mitzi Shore, who just turned 82 years old, by the way. Excuse me. 83. 83. 83. 83. Holy Born shit. Born in 1930. That's amazing. And uh, Bobby, where Bobby, are you Bobby, we got five going? more this minutes. You can do this. Sit down. Come on. Uh, so uh, we figured we'd have him on to uh, check out our two regulars here. Uh, going up first, as always, out of the two, uh, you know her and you love her as the original female of the Kill Tony podcast. She was on episode one, and she was the only female in the house. Since then, uh, we've slowly created her over nine weeks, built her. Here she is, Sarah Mostajabi, doing her newest limit. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I've, I'm single now, which is great. Um, I finally have a reason to, like, take naked pictures again. It's like my favorite pastime of mine, you know? Um, because now I can finally focus on my eating disorder. You know? I can just take all these naked pictures and just tear myself apart on how pathetically fat and sad you are, you whore. Um, I, uh, I've been... <laughs> I've been on this diet for uh, a couple weeks on this Danita diet, and it works really well, you know? You just don't eat a fucking thing, and you lose so much weight. Uh, I barely even ha I've never had an ass, but uh, now I have legs. My back stops, and my legs just kind of shoot out of my spine. I don't know. I can't really compete with all these, like, Miley Cyrus twerking videos. I, I, I'm white trash, but I just can't get the meth sheet going, so keep, me, keep on... Keep on throwing up. It's not. It's not that I'm bulimic. It's just that I love food so much. I want to taste it again. Oh, there you go. Um, like, yeah, Tommy. What are your initial feelings and thoughts when you're around Sarah Mostajabi? Uh, <laughs> it's hard, you know. First of all, she's performing sideways, and she feels like she's on the spot. So. I first feel the energy that she's projecting, which is a little bit different than just performance energy. It's like, you know, it's trying to put something out and you're, you know, you know what I mean? So everyone just has to relax a little bit. Um, you might pull your face a little bit away from the microphone because it distorts a little bit and then we can't see your face, which is part of the performance. Microphone work is a, like a, a thing a lot of people have to learn. It's a very small nuance that I work with a lot of people about. But lots of people go like this and this and this and this, but we can't see you. So you got to... When we're close to it, but still wouldn't be able to see your face. Bobby knows exactly how to space it perfectly. He's an example, like Dove Davidoff and Sebastian and John Caprula, because they got used to it. So just remember it's something to work with. And oh, so then other than that, I don't know. Your last name, where are you from? Uh, like, heritage-wise. I'm half Persian. Yeah. Do you ever talk about that in your act? I do, but the last time I, I did that, I got ripped apart, like, so hard, so... Because we don't need to hear about your happy trail, hair, stomach, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but, but, like, cultural, like, like, how, what was it like growing up? Yeah, I mean, I, I, of one, one of the things that I wrote was that, uh, you know, I wanted to date when I was a teenager, but uh, my dad wouldn't let me talk to boys until after I was married. 
Yeah. I mean, like... So I, there was a... I mean, I did that. I mean, I've written a new minute every week since I started stand-up. Uh -huh. um, and so uh, I did do that a couple weeks ago, um, but I guess... Well, you're working on a new minute. She has she has those jokes, but it's a different. I just want to know where she what what her life was like and stuff. Right. Well, you, have you caught a new minute this week. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. Fine. No, I know. You're you're in a process. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of Mitzi's lines is becoming a stand-up comedian is a process. So embrace the process. Yeah. Just write. Keep going up. You have a nice look. You've created an interesting look. That's for sure. Well, that's part of it. One of her lines too. The look is everything. Definitely. Can I say something about Sarah? <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of comedians use that style where they put themselves down. But I don't know if that's necessarily good for her because she's really a hot girl and she talks about she's hairy and then today she's talking about kind of she's fat. No, I, I, I disagree with you. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's for her though. Remember when you were talking about those guys? Patriot, going on? Bobby disagrees. I with disagree you. because in this way, all right? Because when girls that are attractive are on stage, they have two things working against them men, right? Because they want right. to fuck them, right? And yes. number two, Girls, they go, who the fuck? Do you, think? you know what I mean? So you have to dumb it down. Like Whitney Cummings, you know what I mean? Not not when she's doing Montreal, but when she was like coming up, you know what I mean? Or even I knew Chelsea Handler when she was coming up. They wouldn't wear makeup. They'd wear loose jeans and like a hoodie. You know what I mean? And they would look, you know what I mean? Because they knew intuitively that they don't, you know, because genetically they are pretty people, you know, right? So I just think that. You know what I mean? That if she wants to do some self deprecating jokes, it'd be actually good. It's okay, but you know, don't get what will take in the middle. Just don't get lost in it. Yeah. yeah. Self deprecation, uh, poops, farts, cum. It's like that stuff is easy yeah. in, in a way. So it's like you can do it a little bit, but you can't go crazy with it. I, I'm, at this point, I'm just trying to be like genuine and honest and talk about the things that I really think or feel. Uh, and like kind of reflect on myself rather than making like Sesame Street jokes. That's the process. There you go. Yeah. That's the process. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. She did good. I like Sarah most job it. Sarah dresses on Twitter. And uh, your uh, second, as always, regular comedian on here. We just recently found out that she's having so much fun doing stand up in LA since starting on the Kill Tony podcast that last week. She dropped out of motherfucking college. That's right, everybody. Only a year left to go, too, and she still did it. Put your hands. Oh, she can do that anywhere. <laughs> Put your hands together for the one and only Kimberly Congdon, everybody. Hi, guys. Um, my mom's Puerto Rican, um, and there's a few problems with having a Puerto Rican mother because I feel like we have a lot of miscommunication, and we're very open. Uh, so I started dating this guy a while back, and... Uh, she calls me when it first starts up, and she's like, Hi, Kimberly, how did it go last night? I'm like, oh, it was really good, Mom. He was really nice. You know, he paid for dinner. We had a good time. She's like, did you make out with him? I'm like, no, you know I don't do that on the first day. She's like, oh, baby, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Cool, cool. So we talk about it all the time. She, I give her the weekly updates. She didn't ask me for a while. And then um, about a month later, she calls me up again, and she's like, Kimberly, how's that boy? How, is that boy good? He's treating you good? I'm like, yeah, no, he's treating me great, Mom. She's like, you make out with him? Yeah, of course I made out with him. We've been, you know, we've been hanging out for like a month. Of course I made out. She's like, you did? I'm like, yeah, of course I did, Mom. She's like, Mom, what do you, what do you think make out means? She's like, I did not mean you fall him. <laughs> and I'm only confused because... Where, where, I, I gotta, I, you gotta finish it. What right. are you a little was, confused about? I was gonna say I'm confused because I told my mom that I've made out with lots of guys. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> that is a, te a legitimate tag to. Uh, the other uh, reason and that's a true story. The other reason I'm out you because you're already over a minute though. Right. But that was cool that you did your whole minute as one joke instead of taking just it too long a setup. Yeah. It is a thing I've, I've been telling some actually some older comedians. Jakob Smirnoff's a person I said this to, and he actually listened to me and it helped him. I said, <laughs> and he went, he goes. Uh, in today's day and age with communication with phones and everything being so quick, we everyone's attention span's kind of short. Yeah. So to get the hook, which is the laugh, you have to do it quickly. Okay. I've noticed that a lot of the people, it's not like you have to make it, but either say something funny or even a comment, which can end up in your connection. Or you can make the setup funny, so have like little funny ways of, of making the setup funny, right? But what we're doing is we're following along until we get to the button, you know what I mean? And it's like a minute, right. you know what I mean? It's like, you know, I, I just came back from Orlando. I did a headline there at the Improv all week, and I just flew back this morning. 
he's, I mean, you have to get laughs every 15 seconds. Yep. Or you lose the crowd. I mean, that's where we're at, you know what I mean? And it's like, not fun, but that's the game, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's all. But you know what, can I say something? Yeah. I feel bad. You're not, I'm, I'm not the reason why you no, no. quit college, right? No, no, I was already on the fence about it when you... Yeah, but did I pull you... Yeah. Why? Well, uh, well, I was already, I was already wanting to do it, and then you said that thing. Bobby, why did I ruin, I didn't ruin your life. <laughs> 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 Bobby? Wow. No, no, no. Okay, I just want to say, you, how long, you've been only doing it for a month, right? Yeah. You're absolutely so comfortable up there. Yep. Yeah. I there were like guys like Mugzilla was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been doing it since I've been yeah, doing it. Yeah, since Nam. And the thing is that <laughs> you, you are so just calm and collected. And, you, yeah. and a lot of people, when they do characters when they're first starting, they break in and out of it. They come in and out of it because they get so nervous, right? But you commit to the character, and then I can see the difference between your voice and your mom's voice, so that's all good. I have a dinner at 10.30, man. I gotta fucking go, man. 10.30? How far away is it? It's in Koreatown. Really? Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to parks at 10.30. Is there anything you want to promote or anything? This gets tens of thousands of listeners. Yeah, um, I'm in a cartoon in August coming out called The Awesomes. It's with Seth Meyers, Rachel Dratch. It's on Hulu. But, and I'm a, I'm a character on awesome. it, so watch that. Okay. And you're here all the time, thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, everybody, there he goes, off to Koreatown. That's Kimberly Congdon. Follow Kimberly on Twitter at, what is it again? Kimberly Congdon. Kimberly Congdon, spelled like it sounds. C-O-N-G-D-O-N. -O -O That's Kimberly Congdon. That's at Sarah Dresses. Tommy Morris, thank you so thank much you, for Tommy. joining us. You can meet Tommy anytime you come to the World Famous Comedy Store, except for Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Go up to the cover booth, say hi, ask him a question, meet him. Not, not you comedians, I'm talking to the listeners. Don't annoy Tommy, you comedians, you vultures. <laughs> He'll get to know you when it's time enough. Please put your hands together for Tommy Morris, who is nice enough to grace us. That's a big deal, believe it or not. I mean, a really big deal. As always, the Comic Patriot, thank you so much. Follow him on Twitter, at Comic Patriot, at Red Band, at Tony Hinchcliffe. And we'll be at Stand Up Live in, uh, if Phoenix. you're looking at Phoenix, in September. Yep. Go to StandUpLive.com or DeathSquad.tv for all the tour dates. Boom. Coming up next, we got a live Ding Dong show, world famous Ding Dong show, every Monday at 10 p.m. Stay tuned for that if you want to watch some craziness. Thank you so much for coming out. Sorry to the comedians that didn't get up. Try again next week. Thank you. Good night.